it's coffee time. I'm adding a couple of tablespoons of butter to my coffee. This morning, I'm having a K-cup. To that, I will add my Keto Brains Nootropic. I'm also going to go ahead and use up the last little bit of this Orgain collagen peptides. This is beef collagen peptides and I have just one serving left in the container. I'm also going to go ahead and add 10 drops of my Lugol's 2% iodine. And we'll go ahead and froth this up. Good morning, guys. We're getting ready to go to breakfast. Happy Four Saturday. I missed my walk yesterday and I missed my walk this morning. So we'll get back to it. We'll walk a little bit later today. Hi, Layla. Hi. For breakfast, I'm having three scrambled eggs with cheese and two, three slices of bacon. Okay. To breakfast at Tiffany's with uh, our kids. So we just got done with lunch and we're over here way on the other side of town and I'm going to run into this grocery store. It's called Fresh Time Market and I think they have eggs on sale, the kind of eggs that I like. So I'm going to go in here and check it out. My husband and granddaughter are at uh, Barnes & Noble. Hi, good, how are you? I got New York strips on sale for ten dollars. Hi. Um are these New York strips? The ones that are on sale for ten dollars? No. I think I'll take two of those. Yeah. yeah. Are they about a pound each or? No worries. try these um they have some extra large cage-free brown eggs i'm gonna give those a try and then um i also picked up some kalamazoo coffee company whole bean decaf to try so that should be good all right so i'm gonna go and try to catch up with the uh, jamar and layla inside of barnes and noble We'll come in and show you guys what I'm working on. I'll show you guys my new office. So this is like our dining room. This is upstairs. Um, and we're gonna clean this out and make this into my new office. It's facing the front. So I kind of got tired of being in the basement every day. So we're moving my desks upstairs. And uh, that's where I'm gonna be from here on out. Okay, it's almost ready. Show you guys how it looks. That's my work computer. I'm gonna try to figure out what to do with this lamp. Maybe right over here next to my desk. And then I have some decorations and stuff I'm gonna put on this wall. So it's a good start. Good start. Hey, you guys. Hi. <laughs> we are taking our first walk of the day. How you doing today, Layla? Good. Okay, yeah, so we're just getting out. It's about four o'clock 
on uh, Saturday, September 14th. Saturday, September 14th. Uh, we have had a busy weekend. So, Layla, how did you enjoy the 30th anniversary celebration? It was really fun. What was your favorite part? The food. The food. They said the food was really good. But we're going to talk about that. And I'm going to tell you guys how that food did me. My favorite part was the comedy show. Uncle Larry. My husband, husband's uncle. Did comedy. Oh my gosh, he had me rolling. Crying real tears down my face. It was very funny. Did you enjoy anything else? Um, yes. Actually, the trivia, I didn't know any of the questions, but I enjoyed it because I like seeing TGCA happy. Yeah, me too. TGCA is my best friend. Did you know that? She is? Uh-huh. Yep. That's uh, Jamar's aunt, and uh, she's also my best friend. So, let me tell you about yesterday. So yesterday was the big day. We had been planning for a year for this 30th anniversary celebration. And uh, it was really, really nice. It was beautiful. I think his parents were very happy. It was a celebration of our 30th year in ministry of our church. So um, it was really, really nice. And as you guys probably know, um, the pastor of the church that I attend is my father-in-law. So it was a really, really nice event. They served uh, roast beef, some kind of chicken and sauce. They had asparagus and some other kind of vegetables. Was it potatoes? I think they had. Potatoes, and broccoli, and carrots. Potatoes, broccoli, and carrots and um oh yeah and a salad and a salad it was a very nice uh banquet dinner it was like a buffet um and so i had spoken to the chef earlier in the day and i told her that i was a carnivore and i only eat meat so she saved me back a whole bunch of um roast beef and then two chicken breasts um, so on the table they had butter, uh, like grassland, something grass-fed butter. I probably ate about five or six pack, uh, pats of that. So today my hands are itchy. My got blisters in my fingers, um, and uh, it's just an eczema flare. So I'm not sure. They probably marinated their roast beef in something. Um, not sure what that could have been. It was pretty, I mean, I had to add salt to it. It wasn't very, you know, very, um, well, I'll call it spicy, but it did have a flavor to it. So I'm assuming that they marinated it in something and whatever that something was did not agree with me because eczema flare, eczema flare. Um, so it's itching today. It's itching like right here around the bottom of my lip as well. Trying my hardest not to rub it. Cause like I told you guys, if I rub it, it's gonna turn black right here. And then I'll have that ring around my mouth, like eczema ring. So that was not ideal. Um, I was so thankful though that, I mean, it was so nice of her to hold back. She had a whole plate of meat just for me, just waiting for me. So that was really, really nice of her. But I'm so sensitive to stuff that it didn't uh, do me well. Even though I ate exactly carnivore and high fat butter, when I got back home, I was hungry, which was like a signal to me that there was something maybe sugar probably sugar you guys in the marinade because i'm very much allergic to sugar and sugar really flares my eczema so it's probably some kind of sugar in the marinade so needless to say we are on 
a mission to clear the eczema. But I was gonna say that when I got home last night, I ate two hot dogs. I was, me being hungry after eating a big old pile of meat like that is probably a signal that something was in the food that uh, didn't agree with me. Yeah, and it started right away. As Soon as I ate it, within an hour, I could see my hands like pussing up, blisters popping up in my palms. So, anyway, you want to say anything about that? About what? What I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. Um, Grandma said it must have been sugar. I didn't think it was sugar because I'm pretty sure it would leave like a little bit of a sugary taste. Okay. It just tasted bland. Bland. It didn't taste like it had anything on it? Yeah. Hmm. I tasted something, a little something. Um, it was not very s flavorful, spicy. Um, it didn't have a lot of spices on it, but I did taste a little something. I just don't know what that something was. So, we'll be right back. All right. So today, we went to breakfast this morning at Breakfast at Tiffany's with my husband's parents and um, his aunt and uncle and cousin and Layla, of course. And we had, uh, I had uh, three scrambled eggs with cheese, a little bit of sour cream, and three slices of very extremely thin bacon. So that was like not enough food, not enough food. Um, Layla had pancakes. How were the pancakes? They were good. Mm. Yeah, Layla had pancakes. The syrup was nasty. The syrup was nasty. Okay. And uh, so for dinner, I'm gonna cook some pork steaks and some New York strip on the grill. I'm gonna go, when I get back home, that's what I'm gonna make. This is my first walk in two days. So yesterday I didn't get my walk at all. Of course I was busy though. I was busy, busy, busy at the event last night because I was working of course. Um, my husband and I were the MCs for the event and of course we put this whole event together. So uh, it was work. <laughs> so as I had said earlier, I'm, I'm glad that we, we are behind, beyond that uh, event now. That was a lot of big work. Uh, and, uh, it turned out super, super good. Um, I didn't really get a chance to take very many pictures or video because I was just way too busy working. Um, it was about a hundred and five or 106 people there. So that's pretty good turnout. Pretty good turnout. It was really, really nice. So... Yeah. So the last thing is that I um, moved my office from the basement uh, back upstairs. So um, I have a dining room where basically I have been using that for the dog. So it's like the dog's room. And so in the room there was just like my dog's kennel, his food and water, and it had a baby gate on one side and then the other side is like a pocket door. So when I leave the house, that's where he usually is at. So I had decided that I'm ready to, ready to move up out of the basement. I uh, brought my desks upstairs and basically moved into that room, cleaned the room out. It had a dining room table, it had a whole bunch of stuff that it <laughs> just was in there. And uh, so I cleaned that room out and made that into my new office so that ought to be nice i think i didn't want to be in the basement this winter and no well, winter is a little ways away still but yeah i was like today was a great day we didn't have too much on the agenda and so it was a great day for me to start getting that uh moved upstairs so now i gotta decorate any decorators over here okay come on this me. side right here in front of me behind me um i'm not a decorator i'm not very good at decorating i'm totally not creative you guys i'm not a creative at all 
So, but I have some things that I've purchased that I'm gonna use to spruce the room up. I wanna put some pictures on the walls and um, maybe get a little uh, table, which would be in the frame of my videos so that you guys can see like my Christmas tree when it's Christmas time. I have some vases and I have some plants, not real plants, fake plants, y'all. Cause who has time to take care of plants? Me. You do? Yep. Not I. I don't have time. <laughs> and plants die under my watch. So uh, I'm gonna, I just have some fake plants. So I just gotta get a little table that sits behind me, that sits in the frame that has the little decorations that I want to show in my videos. So that's something that we'll be working on as we continue to get that room together. So when you guys see it, let me know your suggestions for how to make it better. Um, those of you that have that uh, creative knack, I definitely don't. All right, you guys, I'm gonna make some pork steaks. Here's my seasonings. Redmond's Real Salt, Organic Seasoned Salt. This is onion powder. And then we've also, oops, that is not what we want. So let's put that back. Garlic powder, that is what we were looking for. These are some pork steaks that I picked up the other day at the grocery store. So I'm just gonna go ahead and season these up. So these are the New York, New York strip steaks that I picked up earlier today at Fresh Time Market. I picked up two of these and each one is a little bit less than one pound. Um, so I'm just gonna pull these out and go ahead and season them up. Happy Saturday, you guys, and welcome back to another episode of Carnivorous Grandma Cooks. As you guys can see, I'm outside because I'm getting ready to put some meat on the grill. I'm going to turn this grill on, but we're going to have some pork steaks and some New York strip tonight. So let's get started. Okay, I had issues with my grill, but I finally got it going. So let me show you what I just put on the grill. All right, we've got two of these New York strips that I picked up at the Family Time Market today, and then three pork steaks. So we're gonna cook these up and this is what we're having for dinner. So I was saying earlier on my walk that I'm having an eczema flare. I'm gonna try to show it to you guys. I'm just gonna show you my hand. You can see here on the side of my fingers right there, that is what the blisters look like. This is a really, really itchy. And then on this hand right here, plus you can see how it's all like dried up right here. Yeah, this really, really sucks. Yeah, same thing here, right there. It's funny, my body is like, the eczema is like right there waiting for something to trigger. And then it immediately goes absolutely bonkers. So, I mean, this has been so much worse in the past, so it's not like nearly as bad, but it just, it just so, so God awful bad. <laughs> it is just like crazy. Um, and it's just uncomfortable. So anyway, um, just cooking this, cooking these steaks real quick. Let's see what I'm, what's going on over here. Steaks are at like 104, so that's pretty cooking pretty quick. 
I'm only cooking it up to 130, so um, we'll be done soon. We'll be done very soon. Pray the blessing over the food. That's good. That is good. That is great. Thank you for this food today. Amen. We used to do that all the time when we were like in the house. Yeah, I thought y'all did. All right, here's my plate. I have got some New York strip steak as well as some pork steak. Uh, about two and a half tablespoons of butter. Yep. Hi guys. We are out here taking that second walk because it was a little bit warm earlier today. So I'm with Layla and also with Doc. I'm trying to take him for a walk because I feel like he's losing it because he's not getting enough walkies. So I'm trying to take him. But y'all know how he'd be acting. Let me show y'all. Let's go. Come on. <laughs> He's ridiculous. He's just completely and utterly ridiculous. Oh, my word. So anyway, we had a really good dinner. We had some steak. And I had some pork steak. Layla doesn't eat pork. So she didn't have any pork steak, right? I used to, but then I couldn't. I wonder why. I don't know. So what, how was the steak? It was amazing. I thought so too. It was really good. So it was a uh, New York strip, but I would have preferred a ribeye. I haven't had a ribeye in a long time. I guess I'm going to have to bite the bullet and just buy some because, um, there's nothing that satisfies quite like ribeye. So pretty much that's what I want. So anyway, we're taking this 15 minute walk and then I'm going to go and like chill out for the rest of the evening. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.